Hey folks, this is a quick video showing you how to test the low pressure fuel pump on a Discovery 3. So we're going to take a look under the battery cover and in the main fuse box beside the battery. The power feed for the fuel pump goes first of all through this relay. It's the second relay down on the left. From there it goes battery positive to this side of the relay, out through fuse 1 and then a wire the whole way down to the tank. On the earlier model discoveries there is a connector in the right hand side wheel arch. The newer discoveries from I think it's 06, 07 on don't have that connector. So first thing to do is to check your fuses good and then we're going to take out our relay and we're going to bypass it and also test the current draw. To bypass the relay, we're going to bridge the contacts left and right. A small bit of wire will do that. And we can hear our pump running in the tank now. You don't need your key on for this test, as there's always a constant live on this side of the relay. Looking at the relay, that is pin five and pin three. So the live is on pin five. When the relay is energized, it sends power to pin three and out and over to the fuse. So to test the current draw, we're going to put our meter into amperage setting, DC, and make sure our leads are in the correct places. We're going to put our two leads across the same two terminals to energize the pump. Doesn't matter which way around here, we're getting negative five and a half amps, roughly. Change them around, we're getting a proper five and a half amps. So you want to be getting between five and ten amps current draw, depending on the pump that you have installed, and I suppose the weather, how warm it is. If the car has been running. In colder weather there'll be a bit more current draw because the diesel is thicker. So if you wanted to empty your tank for any reason you could simply bridge your two terminals and that will leave your pump running continuously and then pop off your fuel line. 